Hi guys, welcome. Let's get to create a persistent movie favorite in the movie app application. Initially, we have uh, the app set up this way. On click of it, a movie grid, we get to have the detail page where you have a larger screen of the poster and uh, also some details about the movie. Now, we have the art icon. On click of the art icon, you get to add this particular movie to the favorite list. Let's get to do that. We have that added to the favorite. Now we can easily navigate back to the app, move down to the overflow menu, add to settings, now sort by the favorite movies. Let's get to some by the favorite movies and we get to see the favorite movie uh, grid. Now, uh, there is no persistent flow of this particular uh, addition. Let's get to click on the favorite uh, grid, which ushers us to the detail page. Now, if you notice, uh, the art icon shows that nothing has happened to it. Probably it's not uh, added to the favorite. So, we are looking at this, uh, the intention will be to add this particular movie again to the favorite. So this movie is available to be added back to the favorite. Once you add it back, uh, you get it added and you will be having multiple uh, movie right there in the favorite uh, session, which is not too good. So we'll try to fix this. Let's have a persistent movie favorite uh, list where you can easily uh, Remove from the favorite, you can add to the favorite. And now uh, we are looking at this uh, detail page that should be uh, a kind of uh, visual display right there in the art sign or the art icon that this particular movie has been added to favorite. And a click on this again will definitely remove that from the favorite. So that's uh, what we'll be doing this moment. And we'll be added straight to code. Right then, the detail activity is where we need to do the implementation. Uh, we will write, create a field called the SQLite MDB. Uh, this is an object of the SQLite database, which we're actually going to initialize uh, from the favorite DB helper, uh, where we create an object of the DB helper and get a writable database, which will be passed to the SQLite database object called MDB. So this will be able to make us assess the SQLite, uh, which is the DB helper class, and also call the get writable database. So that's just what that is doing. So let's get to look at the initial initialization we had for the favorite button. We have it set up this way, where we set on favorite change listener to that on and override the method called of favorite change. Now we need to replace this. So I'm actually going to comment this out. Code, comment, block comment, and uh, we'll be replacing that with this chunk. So I'll be on commenting this out and explaining how we get to uh, achieve that. The same thing with the class called exist, which is a Boolean method rather called exist, which actually check if it's true or false. Now let's get to uh, look at the structure. Now, firstly, we test if the particular movie name exists in the database, which calls this method exists, which takes a parameter, a string parameter, and at the same time, we need to query the, the database to select movies that are actually bears that same name. So it's actually going to return a record so that's the SS, that's the limit uh essence here so we have the projection which is the columns we needed the id movie id the title user rated poster part and the plot synopsis so we have that set up to actually uh make uh this flow work now the selection is uh the column title which uh is actually in question and its argument, which is the search item.
now we have the the string projection at the argument and the limit of one so let's get to look at how we're going to uh query the db and pass that to the cursor object now we're going to select from the table name based on the projection and the selection which is uh the tie to the the movie tie to which is also the argument we are trying to pass in here and we have a limit of one so we must have a record now we have a boolean here of exists which actually gets the count of the cursor object which is the uh, result from a db query now it tests if this is greater than zero uh definitely it exists that's what it means if it's greater than zero but if it's not it's false if it's greater than zero it's true so it returns the exist uh attribute so we have that uh, set out this way so these must be tested before we actually have the flow of our favorite uh button now we have it this way if the movie name exists so it's going to run this chunk if not it's going to run this chunk so now if it exists firstly set the favorite to true because it exists so we need the uh the art icon to be filled up now we still need to set on favorite change listener which overrides the on favorite changed now if you need to click this again that's uh probably one you once you still have to see that way and you still need to click we have to test if the favorite is true it's going to actually save to favorite cool but if not that definitely you've toggled the toggled the art icon away from the true state to false now you need to trigger the delete favorite method from the favorite db helper passing the movie id as a parameter which is unique to all movies i think we got that right there from the intent the movie id we've actually got that so now you need to uh set it out just this way so once you delete the favorite from the movie id that's uh in the state of not true that's once uh the favorite button is not set uh the favorite is not set to true it's actually going to delete it so if you should toggle it once you find out it's true definitely you're going to delete now if the movie name doesn't exist it's actually going to run the else statement which actually sets the unfavorite chain listener now once you set it to true it save the favorite and uh else if it's not true it also does what it deletes from uh the favorite based on the movie id as a parameter and you have the snack bar so it lets you know the state of what happened at the point of toggle so with this you can have the persistent flow of the favorite uh icon once you add to the db uh, you can easily delete from the db as well which will be consistent uh, across all the movies right there in the movie db uh apis so i'll actually be showing you this right there in the emulator for us to see and for us to understand what uh actually happened now and uh for you to have a consistent flow or a, let's call it a persistent flow of the movie favorite uh inclusion so this is actually going to fix uh that and i'm actually going to push a branch down to the github link so you can actually get that and uh, add up to the code and get that fixed so you're going to have a persistent and coherent uh movie favorite integration so i'll actually run this right there in the emulator for us to see now we have it right there in the emulator so i will be clicking on a particular movie grid let's have it avatar cool so let's get to see more of the details so i'll be adding this particular movie to the favorites list added to favorites let me add one more the beauty and the beast all right so go to the settings 
Now let me sort by the favorite movies. Back. Now I have it set. So I click on the avatar. Can you notice that uh, the art icon is filled up depicting that this particular movie is added to the favorite. So this is the kind of uh, interaction we are looking at. So once I click again, I'm removing from the favorite, not adding anymore. Since we have it uh, added earlier, now we need to remove it. So if I should go back to the list, I have it uh, cancelled. So that's just what, uh, that's the best flow of this application. So with this now, uh, it has been fixed. So I can easily go to the IS Trader and also add up. Let me pick the redemption and let me add this up. To the favorites and, uh, and let me sort my favorites so we can find it there and at the same time we can find it filled up added to the favorites so I can easily still go back let me sort by other forms and we should still have that set up cool can you see that so it's work persistently across uh, all modules even uh, the illustrated uh, right there in the favorite list and other aspects of the sort so this is the best approach and this is the better way to fix that uh, favorite list aspect so with this now we have that finished up and uh, I can say, uh, we'll be stopping right there. And uh, I'll implore you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for following. And I am also committed to deliver top-notch mobile application in Android. Thank you guys one more time. And have a blessed time. Bye-bye.